Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at using the Select by Tonal range. This is by, go to the Select menu and then down to Tonal range. We can select mid-tones, shadows and highlights. These are what Affinity have defined as being these three and they'll give you a consistent uh, approach from picture to picture but you have to find out whether it's the, the type of selection that you might like. So let's first of all go to, here we are, just a picture here of the hue, saturation and luminance in terms of hue, just the band of colours. Saturation is blends to grey, the luminance goes from white to saturated through to black again. So let's go on this, select, tonal range, let's go to highlights first. Uh, you can only see a bit through the uh, marching ants because it's selected uh, transparent stuff as well, or nearly transparent. And uh, we'll see this if we control C, control V to paste in a new layer up here. We'll just use control D to get rid of the marching ants. And there, that's what has been selected for highlights. So what we notice from this is, as expected, with the whites, there's a lot more selected here. Uh, and in the hues here, notice that you've got the yellows and a little bit of the cyans, which are, are identified as being highlights. Let's do this again with select range and midtones and do the same cut and paste that into a new layer and take off the marching ants and if I alt click on this I just see that you can see now there's more of the hues selected it sees these as mid-range so there's the reds the greens and, and the cyans and the magentas and of course as you might expect a lot going in to grey so let's have a look at the third one. So back select the original layer and then do select tonal range and shadows. And that's pretty much the rest of the things. So again cut and paste and control D to get rid of the this. And then if we alt click on this one, now we can see here that as expected for shadows, the colours fade into black. And in particular notable the blues. So it's worth noting then that the blues tend to come out as shadows, that reds, greens and magentas come out as midtones, and yellows come out as highlights. So with that knowledge let's have a look at a real picture. So let's just try adding a little bit of colour into this. It's a little bit grey day there. So we'll go to select, uh, where is it? Select tonal ranges and highlights. And then we've got the sky and some of this down here. And for this one, let's just use white balance to adjust this. So let's add some bit of colour orange to the sky there. And let's turn off the the marching ants because we've already got that selected now in the mask. Maybe put a little bit of, bit of magenta in it to make it a little bit warmer. Maybe we need to put in a bit more orange into that. And what we can do with this as well is if we look here and going, oh, we don't like this so much here, we can paint that away because we've got a mask. Anything we paint on black is going to remove the effect. So let's go to here, to black there, opacity there. Let's um, make that more like, say, 90%. Now, we can paint on here. And there, we can see that's taking away that effect on the water there. We don't want the, the coloration of the water is a bit much. There you go. Let me keep it back there. That'll do. Let's go back to the main picture. Select tonal range and midtones. 
as expected there's quite a bit in here so let's go to white balance and bring this up and control D to take off the things now let's if we do a bit of warming on this so what we're doing is we change the warming separately so not so much on them in the midterms just a bit to hint of that do we want any into there no green doesn't work does it yeah so see I think too much magenta looks weird just a bit okay there we go and then we'll finally go to select tonal range and shadows and again we'll put in a white balance and bring this up there we go and control D to get rid of the dotted lines because we've now got a mask set up here and what can we do with this often it's worth just whacking the whole thing up and down any any control see what it does see what extreme does and then you can bring it back down to something more useful so maybe a bit bit down to here and yeah maybe say around about there that's, that's given a bit more color you can play with this but i think you get the, the idea so now if we just take those off one at a time Here's the original again. Let me put in a bit of colour into the shadows, just a bit. Let me put some more into the midtones and more again into the highlights. That's a lot, a lot more colour, but uh, more of an evening tone to it. And of course, you can use these, the uh, select tonal ranges here for other things, like if you've got a very bright a very strong tonal range across the image uh, for example when you're shooting into the sun or something like that where you've got very dark and very light you can address the mid-tone shadows and highlights separately for example with with the curves on each but we've just done colors here just to show how to use them so hope you enjoyed that and uh, thank you very much for watching bye bye